Hello, my name is Ang, a PhD student at Cambridge University. I'm going to be talking about the role of low-level cybercrime actors in the Russia-Ukraine conflict. Cyber operations have been used in political conflicts as part of hybrid warfare. In the Russia-Ukraine conflict, one popular narrative was about a massive cyber war with civilians and volunteer hacktivists getting involved in attacking both countries. On the other hand, a contrary story suggests that cyber operations in the conflict have been slow, insignificant, and might have been overhyped. We see lots of high-profile attacks in news and media, such as satellite hackings, phishings, and data weapons. However, these are state actor activities. What remains unclear is the role of non-governmental activities contributed by low-level cybercrime actors who are mostly unskilled but could use existing tools to carry out attacks. These actors are large in number and are an important part of the cybercrime ecosystem. We first look at website defacement attacks. There was a big increase in defacements on Russia right after the war started. The day before, Russia accounted for only 0.6% of all defacements, but on the invasion day, Russia accounted for 24 times higher at around 15% of all defacements on that day. Attentions were sifted to Russia after just a few hours, but our main question is, how long did the effect last? Here is a number of defacement attacks targeting Russia and Ukraine. Defacement on Russia picked rapidly after the invasion, with the number of attackers picking two days after. Regarding Ukraine, there was a pick two days later, with the number of defacers picking one day after. Here is the number of DDoS attack and victims over time. We see, this, we see the same patterns here. Russia was the first to be attacked at scale, followed by Ukraine a few days later. Our key observation is that in both cases, the number of attacks returned to previous levels after just a few weeks. We see a similar picture in the hacking community discussions with an immediate surge of hack forum posts mentioning the two countries after the invasions from near zero to over 120 per day. However, similar to cyber attacks, this activity returned to previous level after a few weeks, presumably as users lost interest and move on. We see the same flitting engagement of users in the IT Army of, of Ukraine Telegram channel. So overall, these low-level cybercrime actors were clearly influenced by the war, but their interest was fairly short-lived. The impact was mainly propaganda dissemination, and they should not be confounded with this sponsored attack. For more details, please have a look at our paper. Thank you.